beautiful welcome back to my channel my name is Bettina I'm the makeup enthusiast in today's video I'm sharing with you all of the pans that I hit on my makeup collection in 2023 this is a long overdue video but I decided to finally sit down and share with you all of the makeup pans that I hit we have mostly eyeshadow which is very exciting but there's also a few face products in here we've got some complexion products and with that all being said if you are new around here and you want to keep up to date on all my project painting videos or any of my other beauty related content make sure you subscribe down below and without further ado let's jump on into the video I hit a total of 27 pans last year which I'm very excited about um, most of these were done in projects like for example the eyeshadows were hit in either project level up or uh, pan those eyeshadows um, some of the other products were hit in like team project pan different things like that so i'm very happy with my numbers of the amount of pans that i added to my collection last year and with that, that all being said let's jump straight into it i'm going to try and for the most part go through in order but if I do have a palette where I hit multiple pans in the one year I will just mention them both at the one time so starting off the first pan that I hit in 2023 came from the balm nude Tood palette this one was rotated in to my pan those eyeshadows and I hit pan on the color sultry here which is that one right there can you even see that pan yeah there we go that that's the pan right there so that's the first pan that I hit. The next one came from my Stacey Marie Carnival palette. And I think this is the only Carnival palette that I have a pan in. I've got three of her, her palettes um, from the Carnival collection, but it comes from the Carnival 3 Love Tahiti palette. This was actually the palette that was rotated in as level one in my project level up. So I started project level up <laughs> with a ginormous hard palette. So I had to use every pan in this palette at least once and I had to hit pan on a palette uh, I had to hit pan on a shadow in this palette and I managed to hit pan on this one here it's the color rum so just this beautiful like neutral color this palette needs some more love I think I, it's definitely after having used this one every color at least once it's looking a little bit more loved but I would like to get some more uses out of all of the other pans in this palette that I haven't hit yet but at least every pan now looks used and I know when I did my review of this palette I used uh, every shadow in the pan I used every shadow in the palette at least once so I know for certain every shadow in this palette has been used at least twice some probably a lot more than others but I'm happy to see some usage on that one. Then for level two in my project level up, I rolled in my Viseart Trist palette. So again in this pan, again in this palette, I had to use every shadow twice and I had to hit pan on two shadows in this palette. So I managed to hit pan on the color seduction and danger use. So that is this one here. Let me see that there that one and then this one here i've actually lost the name card from this palette but i do believe this one here is seduction and i think the one down the bottom is danger use so i managed to hit a couple of pans in my gemini palette last year and this was just organic from everyday use so i was reaching for this palette quite a lot because i really enjoy the neutral side of this palette so i managed to pan on the color polka dot which is that this one here and i also whoop, and i also hit this itty bitty pan on this color here which is cupcake i tried in this one particular because it has this beautiful like floral imprint on the pan i tried to make sure i was putting my shadow brush in a spot where i could preserve the beautiful flower imprint on the pan somewhat so that is why i have this pan <laughs> right there on the edge there because above and below is that beautiful floral imprint i managed to get two pans in this palette and i just managed to hit pan organically which i really enjoyed that in my pan those eyeshadows i rotated in one of my cleona multi-chrome shadows i do have this beautiful little menagerie palette that i have 
full bar one spot with my Cleona singles and I rotated in the color Airs, which is this one here. And I did manage to hit pan on that one. And I really love my Cleona singles. I wish I had more use on these, but I am slowly like getting use out of them and wearing away the imprint in the pan. I love these, they are absolutely beautiful. They're not the easiest to wear like every day, but when you do wear them, oh my God, they are so beautiful and so like impactful. Um, I really love this like beautiful special palette. I hit a pan on a cream, uh, a cream highlighter. Yes, that's what this is. Cream highlighter. This was in my Partners in Cream. Now I hit pan on the Super Shock Shadow, sorry, the Super Shock Cheek from Colourpop. And this is scrumptious. And you can see it as a beautiful big pan there. Um, this one moves a lot. So on some days the pan is bigger, on some days the pan is smaller, just because it's a very malleable um, product. So it moves around quite a lot. And you know, some days it looks more impressive than others. And today it just happens to be one of those impressive days. So that is a pan that I hit in uh, partners in cream another single that I managed to hit pan on is from my Sydney Grace singles collection and it is a color in this palette here up in the top corner now this is the Sydney Grace single eyeshadow in the greatest gift this shadow is so beautiful I'm so glad that I rotated it into my pan those eyeshadows it's just beautiful. It looks beautiful on the eyes. It gives you like that beautiful, like purpley, lavendery shift. Last year, I actually discovered how easy it was to hit pan on my Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde palette. So I actually rotated this one into my pan, those eyeshadows, I think twice last year, because I managed to hit two pans in this palette. The first one was Cosmic, which is this one here up in the corner. And then the second one was the color Galaxy, which is this one down here. So I did manage to hit two pans in this palette last year. The shimmers in this palette are actually really easy to hit pan on. And I would definitely like to see more pans in this palette. Just take into account how easy it is to hit pan, but also the fact that it is an older palette in my collection and the shimmers are actually really beautiful. So I definitely would like to see some more pans on this palette at some point. Then an easy product that I managed to hit pan on was my Charlotte Tilbury face, pow face powder. And I got to the point where I've expanded the pan quite a lot. At the moment, I mainly keep this one on hand for touch-ups for when I go out and stuff. That's why I haven't quite used this one up just yet because it's really the only like compact powder that I have in my collection that I can use for that purpose. The next one is a palette that I already have quite a number of pans in, but I rotated it in to my pan, those eyeshadows to, you know, just add another pan to the palette. Unfortunately though, this one has been dropped. So it's very delicate. It actually has like a big chunk sitting over the pan at the moment because I dropped it. Um, it's very fragile now, but this is the Makeup Geek single in the color Whimsical. And I have a decent pan in the middle there, but as I said, because it's so fragile, it keeps like flaking down and covering that pan. So you can only see a little bit of it. Um, this one, I think I really need to probably try and focus on to get it used up just because I have kind of, I think, disrupted the, like the structural integrity of the shadow. So I need to probably try and get that one used up because otherwise it's just going to make a mess in my little sing singles palette here. But as you can see, this is the palette in my collection that has the most pans in it. It's very satisfying to see so many pans in this palette. I'm very happy with my progress on this palette. I would like to get to the point where maybe I have a pan in every pan in this palette. Ambitious, but maybe that's something that I could try and focus on at some point in the near future. A palette that I had high hopes for. This is my Urban Decay Kristen Leanne palette. This is one of my like favorite colorful palettes in my collection. 
I rotated this one in um, the color Lime Time, which is the green in this palette. And actually, it's probably the most disappointing shadow in this palette. And I kind of forgot that it was that way. The beautiful like purples and blues in here and even this orange is really nice to work with. But this one, it just, it just didn't pack the punch that I was hoping it would. So every time I used it as a green eyeshadow, I was quite disappointed because it wasn't like a really intense green eyeshadow. It was, it was quite lackluster. So that one was a bit disappointing. Uh, a shadow from Lethal Cosmetics that I hit pan on was this color from my Lethal Singles palette. This one here. And it is called Lithium. It's actually a really beautiful, like everyday shimmer shadow. It's so beautiful and it was quite easy to hit pan on just because I was able to reach for it quite consistently because it was just a beautiful, everyday, easy slap on and go color. I managed to hit pan on this guy. <laughs> this is my Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. This one has been in my collection for a very long time. I finally managed to hit pan on it. It still smells the same as when I got it. So I think it's doing all right in terms of formula, but I definitely want to try and expand that pan at some point and maybe try and have it completely used up and finished eventually. It took me ages to hit pan on this one. So I know that to have it completely finished, it probably will take me even longer, obviously. I definitely know that this is one that I should think about completely using up and getting out of my collection because it is one of my oldest bronzers in my collection by far. Another palette from Melt that I managed to hit pan on was my Melt 27 palette. Melt traditionally is quite difficult to hit pan on, but I find when it's a shadow that I can use regularly, I can hit pan on it. So if it's a neutral color that I can use regularly, I don't often struggle to hit pan on it. It definitely takes a lot more uses, but I am able to hit pan on it. So the shadow in here is called One More Thing, and it's just like this mid-tone brown. I use that in my crease a lot, used it to blend out shadows. So it was very easy to hit pan on it. I know, I think it still took me like almost the 30 uses or something to hit pan, but because I was able to use it very regularly, almost daily for work makeup, I managed to like churn out those uses very quickly. I also rotated this palette here. This is from Geo Geology Cosmetics. This is the Pilbara palette. Geology Cosmetics is an Australian brand. So I was very happy to see this one rotated in for my uh, panless eyeshadows. And I did hit pan on the color Brockman Iron. Again, this one I, I didn't really have much of a struggle with because it was a shadow that I could use very regularly. I used it as like outer corner deepening color and I could wear it very regularly to work and makeup like that. So I was able to hit pan on it fairly easily because I could use it a lot. The next shadow that I hit pan on was actually like the shock of the year. It came from my Natasha Denona My Dream palette. This one was in my pan those eyeshadows for quite a number of months because it was actually a black shadow. So this color here, black is black, I rotated in day one for my pan those eyeshadows because I knew that I wanted to make sure I had the most amount of time to work on a black shadow because it was actually prompt number one on the list for my pan those eyeshadows prompts. I wanted to like stack my odds and make sure I had the most amount of time possible to work on the black shadow. So I rotated it in day one. And as you can see, I managed to hit pan on it. Very, very happy with that. I also managed to hit another pan in this palette and that was the color Thrill, which is this beautiful color here as well. I really like this palette. I think it's a beautiful like purpley mauvey palette. And you guys know those, those colors are my jam. This palette here contains probably some of the most disappointing shadows in my collection. These are my shadows from Amy Hart's Beauty, my single eyeshadows that I picked up. I ended up two of the color Wraith um, from their like iridescent multi-chrome or iridescent singles. 
Wraith is this one here. And this is another one that kind of has, it, it's making a horrible mess in my palette because it's just messy and it also, I believe, got damaged in shipping or transit, something like that. So it is very messy and it gets everywhere, but I did manage to hit pan on the edge here, up in this corner. I do want to try and like get this one finished because as I said, I ended up with two of these because they stuffed up my order and then refused to ship me the one that I was supposed to have. Anyway, that's a whole thing. Um, so I would like to get this one done because as I said, the, just the, I just feel like with singles, especially ones that are hand pressed, once you drop them, they kind of, they're kind of done for, unless you want to like hand press them again yourself. It kind of just ruins like the integrity of the shadow. It almost like cracks it throughout the pan. So if you move it or you put it upright or something like that in your collection, it just turns into a big fucking mess in your drawers. Then I have another complexion product and this comes from my Charlotte Tilbury Nude Gasm palette. And I managed to hit pan on the blush in this palette. This one's called Glowgasm, I believe. Supergasm, multi-glow, something like that. <laughs> I think it's multi-glow. But as you can see right in the center there, I managed to hit the plastic. Now I think around the center is like a waffle pan. So I'm definitely hoping that I can expand the pan a little bit on this one this year. This one is often like my go-to travel palette because I just think the blush looks really beautiful and glowy. It gives you like that beautiful lit from within. Lit, lit from within. It gives you that like really beautiful lit from within glow on the cheeks and it just makes them look really like young and juicy and, and like oh, so, so like, I don't know, just glowy and youthful. So I do really like this palette and I would like to see some more use out of the, the highlighter and the two bronzers in here. I really need to pull my finger out when it comes to them. Next up we have my Urban Decay Naked Basics palette. I managed to actually hit two pans in this palette last year because the year before I tried to hit pan on the color Naked 2 in this palette. So last year I rotated in the color Faint, which is this one here, into a project. And then while I was working on it, I also decided to work on Naked 2 a little bit just to try and finally hit pan on the shadow that I failed to hit pan on the previous year. And I managed to do that. So I managed to get two new pans in this palette. I also hit pan on my Juvia's Place face powder. This is in the color Valencia. I picked this one up when I was overseas last year and I've just managed to expand the pan. Uh, I've used this one quite a bit since I purchased it. So that's that one there. The last two pans come from my Pat McGrath Mothership Mega Celestial Divinity palette and my Kaleidos Deep Sea Luster palette. So Kaleidos Deep Sea Luster palette, I rotated in to my um, pan those eyeshadows, this color here, Queen Conch or Conch. Um, and managed to hit pan on that one there. And last but not least, I rotated in my Pat McGrath Mothership Mega Celestial Divinity palette into my pan those eyeshadows. I knew that in the past, I found it quite easy to hit pan on the shimmers in this palette. So I rotated in the color Megabyte, which is this green one here. And as you can see, I did manage to hit pan on that one. And I have a total of uh, five pans in this palette now. So the pans are slowly growing in this palette, which I love to see. And I would definitely like to challenge myself to hitting pan on one of the mattes or maybe one of the darker shimmers at some point this year, just as a little bit of a challenge. I'm enjoying seeing palettes in my collection that have more than one pan. Often I will hit pan on a, a shadow in a palette and then I'll like just quickly swap it out. But I'm enjoying seeing like that there's a few palettes in my collection that are getting to the point where they have multiple pans in their, um, in the palette. I'm hopeful that I can continue on my panning streak this year. I'm hopeful that as well, I might be able to hit more pans this year than I did last year. 
last year as you guys know I did go on an overseas trip for a couple of months so that really restricted my panning journey and I also just I wasn't able to film as much as I normally do and all of that just because of family stuff that was going on so this year I'm starting afresh I've got time on my hands I've got filming time so I will be able to like experiment more with those fun playful colors so I'm hopeful that I can hit more pans at least on eyeshadows this year than I did last year I want to try and hit 24 pans on eyeshadows this year and then I'm hopeful that I can hit pan on other complexion products in my collection this year so there's a few complexion products that I am targeting in my plan to pan for this year so I'm hopeful that if I hit pan on those products then we'll blow will blow this year or that will blow 2023 out the wazoo so if I can beat 27 pans in 2024 that would be awesome I would be very happy with that if you did enjoy this video make sure you give it a big thumbs up let me know down in the comments box what products you managed to hit pan on last year or what products were the most difficult for you to hit pan on last year if you aren't already make sure to subscribe down below so you can keep up to date on all my future videos that's it for this video beautiful I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day and I will see you in the next one goodbye beautiful